What's going on guys? My name is Zephanes and welcome to another episode of our Terraria console let's play. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the little montage of me killing uh, a bunch of bosses. Uh, like I said, this spellbook right here is really powerful and makes it a lot easier to uh, farm the other bosses that uh, had a trouble killing. So that's that. Now, you might be wondering why am I in the corruption? And that's because we're missing two items to be able to craft the uh, the Ankh charm so we can make the uh, the Ankh chill. Uh, I already get I already got all of this. We're missing the blindfold and the vitamins. And both of those items, you can find them right here in the Corruption. Uh, uh, the vitamins are dropped by the... Either the... Uh, oh! Ah, uh, Petri dish. Um, the vitamins are dropped by the Corruptors. And the Blindfold can be can be dropped by the Slimes. The, the Dark Mummies. And... Uh, Another enemy, I forgot what it was, but they're all right here in the corruption. So I'm just gonna chill out here for a while, see if I can get any drops. And hopefully we can uh, make the, uh, the ink shield by the end of this episode. So, anyways, I'll chill right here for a minute, and I'll see you back at home. Be right back. Alright guys, I'm back, and um, it's been about, what, an hour and a half or two <laughs> since uh, the last clip, and that was because this thing right here wouldn't drop for the life of me, there were, I was, let's see, how many was it? I think it's about five Terraria days that I was out there just in the ocean getting some uh, mummies and slimings and all that stuff so they could drop it and there were at least two blood moons a solar eclipse all kinds of monsters but two hours later this thing decided to drop. So, it's been a long time for me. I know it's been like, really, literally like 30 seconds for you. But we got it! <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, this thing dropped too. Uh, okay. Put this thing in random places. Okay. Now, this item, I really didn't need it, but I wanted to show it to y'all. Um, I've been collecting these items in the background, I don't know if you've seen it, every time I open my, my uh, piggy, piggy, piggy bank, they were right here. I was just collecting them in the background to see if in, in case I get enough of them, I would actually make it. And uh, I did now, I do have them now. It's called the Hard Nacer, or the Nacer. Vitamins, the Vsor, the Fast Clock, the Trifle Map, the Armor Polish, the Megaphone, the Adhesive Bandage, and the Blindfold. Now, all these items right here, you gotta take them to your Synchro's Workshop. And they combine, uh, they mix with each other. By combining those two, you make this, those two, this, those two, this. And those two, this. Now we have half of them. The plan, armor bracing, uh, the medicated bandage, and the counter curse mantra. Now you know that the blindfold is the only one that didn't have a a something to um, combine it with. Because we don't need to, we don't, 
what I needed to combine with all these four items that we just made to make the ang charm. Now, each each one of those items before I combine them had a, a, a specific ability or uh, buff or debuff that you know it helps you. But by combining them all into one item, it gives you all those de debuffs and all those immunities into one single item. Now, this right here, it's a really, really good item. The Ankh Charm. Now, this thing, you can even combine it with something else. The thing we made earlier in the game. And that's why I haven't reforged it just yet. Because I knew it was gonna come down to this. By combining all those immunities with our already immunity to knockback and fire blocks, it gives us the ang shield. The ang shield grants immunity to knockback and fire blocks and grants immunity to most debuffs. Meaning we're no longer be slowed down. We're no longer gonna be blind by the, some some of the those curses that some of give. We're no longer gonna be poisoned. We're no longer gonna be. Let me show you. Uh, no more bleeding. No more poison. Uh. Uh, immunity to silence, no more curse, no more confusion or slowdown, no more weakness, and no more broken armor. And all of those combined into one single accessory that we can just stick with us. This is a really powerful, powerful item. That if you get the chance, I would highly recommend it. Um, because it's cool. <laughs> I mean, you could have, you should have. This item comes, I think, it comes a little bit too late in the game. Like, if you really wanted it, like at, at the beginning of the uh, hard mode, you could farm it, but it would take forever. And um, um, by the time you're done with hard mode or like most of the bosses you get you get most of them by you know normal drops and no more no farming just like picking them up here and there uh, some items are really really rare fine especially the blindfold and if especially if you are in a crimson world instead of a instead of a um, uh, corrupt coral because on the crimson the only uh, the only Enemies that will drop it will be the the dark mummy, which only appears in the crimson sand or desert. And um, yeah, there's a uh, only few enemies that can drop them. So there's that. Um, there was, I just killed uh, a pirate invasion a few seconds ago before I started recording. This guy left. I don't know where he went. Still here somewhere. Johnny, there you go. Come back to your house. Um, <laughs> I was gonna do a lot. Of, like, uh, I was gonna get ready for a uh, uh, Okram. I wanna fight Okram next, and then I, I wanna save the uh, the lunar event or the 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 moon, yeah the moon event for uh, the next episode or another episode. But this episode has been really exhausting for me because I've been, like, like I said, I've been here for about two to three hours since I started recording. Uh, I did all those uh, bosses, boss rusher skills, and I've been here for a while. Um, I know it's not that much. I know it's not that <laughs> interesting. But the item alone was a really, really, you know, pain in the butt to get. So. With that said, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you do indeed like it, you can go ahead and uh, like and subscribe. 
I will start getting ready, getting the arena set up for the Ocran fight. I don't, I don't know if I can fight it here. I don't know if it's big enough for the fight. Because uh, Ocran moves really fast and um, you need a lot of space to move around. Uh, I will try it. I will definitely try it. Give it a try like the other bosses. See what uh, what it takes. If I'm ready. I, I feel like we're ready to fight them. I think if we, if we fight the the lunar events before we fight Okram, we'll be we will get an item way too powerful and we will be way too easy. So that's why I want to fight it first. Uh, to me, I, I don't know. I know it's uh, it said that Okram is pretty much the 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 end boss of the console version in quotations and the end boss, but um. To me, the, the the lunar events are way harder than Okram, especially when it comes to the uh, the final waves of, of the lunar events, uh, the frost moon and the pumpkin moon. Uh, they do have a quite a bit of challenge to it, and I usually I would what I would usually do is uh, make a farm. Uh, for the for the events and uh, make it easier for me uh, but I know that wouldn't be that interesting to watch uh, so I will do my best to make it as entertaining as possible um, so yeah next episode I will definitely will fight Okram and um, Maybe do some reforging, because uh, now that I have all the items that I, I need to work with, like these are my ultimate items, I could make the the, the Avengers emblem, but that would just take too much work, it's just a bit extra damage, it's not really worth it <laughs> to me. So this is what I'm going with, I, I, I did kill uh, Luke Fishron for um, about three more times, and I couldn't get the wings. So I'm just gonna go with uh, with this right here till the end. So I'm gonna work, uh, get some money, get some more money. I got like four platinum right now. I don't know if it's enough to get everything to uh, lucky. So I already have one with lucky. Warding. I wanna get everything to lucky uh, if possible. The critical strike does a lot for uh, magic users. Because uh, the bigger the the bigger damage it deals, the more damage. I mean, the more health you get back with the bonus set of the uh, specter armor. Uh, I will. I used to go for a uh, medicine, uh, like for uh, percentage damage, but I uh, came to uh, find out or realize that a critical strike uh, does more for me, at least in my experience or my opinion. So, I'm gonna go for that. Uh, well, like I said, next episode, Okram. Uh, let's start getting ready for the, the... The pumpkin moon and the frost moon. So, yeah guys. Oh, and maybe I, I will try to get uh, some of the key molds. So I can open one of those, some of the special chests in the, in the dungeon. I'll show you that too. Uh, anyways. Like always, I've been talking too much. Um, my name is Epic Ness. I hope you guys have an epic day. Oh, I got another one. And I will see you on the next episode. See ya.